18 and English from class 11. With Love by Zoa Sherber Reading, Nerdu Translation, Textbook of English K The day that Minta Holly grew up was a crisp, golden day in early September. Afterwards, she was to remember everything about that day with poignant clarity. She remembered, the slapping sound, the waves made, the pungent smell, of the logs burning, even, the gulls, that soared, and swooped, overhead. But most of all, she remembered, her father's face, when he told her. It began like any other Saturday, with Minta lying in bed an extra hour, Breakfast was always lazy and unhurried on Saturday mornings. The three of them in the breakfast room, Minta's father engrossed in his paper, her mother flying around in a gaily colored housecoat, mixing waffles and frying bacon. Minta setting the table. They talked, the casual happy talk of people who love each other and don't have to make conversation about neighborhood, doings, about items, in the paper, about the clothes, Minta, would need, when she went away, to school, in a couple of weeks, it was after, the dishes were, finished, that Minta's father, asked her, if she would like, to go down, to the beach, for a little while, low tide, he said might get a few clams. Minta nodded, agreement. But her mother, made a little face. Horrors, clam chatter for another week. Sure you wouldn't like to go, Mary? Minta's father asked. The salt air might help your headache. No. You two run along. I'll curl up with an apple and a television program. She yawned and stretched, looking almost as young as Minta. Minta ran upstairs and got into her heavy shoes and jeans. Shall I call Sally and ask her if she wants to go? She yelled, leaning far over the banister. Let's just go, by ourselves, this time, her father, answered, rather shortly. He was silent, as they drove toward the beach, but it wasn't, the companionable silence, that Minta had come to expect from him. There was something grim about it. He's going to talk to me about school, Minta told herself. He's going to try to talk me out of it again. It was funny the way her father had acted when she announced her intention of going to Mary Hill this term. It had, always been. Such an, accepted thing, her mother, had graduated, from Mary Hill, and, it followed, that Minta should be, enrolled, there is a matter of course, last year, was different. With mother, just recovering, from that operation, it was natural, that, he should, expect Minta, to stay home, she had even wanted to stay but now going to Mary Hill, was something special. She would live, in a dormitory, and, be part of all the campus fun, it wasn't, as if Mary Hill were clear across, the country, either, she'd probably, be getting home every month, or so, and there were the Christmas holidays, and then spring vacation, Minta's chin, was lifted, in a stubborn line, as her father, parked the car, and, went around, to get the shovels, and pail, form the trunk. It wasn't like him to be so stubborn, usually he was jolly and easygoing, 
and inclined to leave such matters entirely up to Minta's mother. She followed him down, to the beach, her boots squishing, in the wet sand. The tide was far out, and farther up, the beach she could see bent figures busily digging along the water's edge, reading, first year, grade 11, English book, KPK Textbook Board 2020. Please like, and subscribe, YouTube, channel, Sohail, Indad, to get updates, on time. From Mother, with Love, English Book KPK Text Board A scattered beach fire, smoldered, near the bank, and, Minta poked it into place, and revived it, with splinters of driftwood, until she had coaxed back, a steady warning blaze. When she sat back, on her heels, to smile up at her father, she felt her throat constrict, with a smothering fear, his eyes looked, the way they had when, when, suddenly she remembered. He was looking at her, and, trying to smile, just the way, he had looked, at her the time, her appendix burst, and they were taking her, to the hospital. She could almost hear the wail of the ambulance siren, and feel the way, he had held her hands tightly, trying to make it easier. His eyes had told her then, as they told her now, that he would a thousand times, rather, bear the pain, than watch her suffer. It seemed, like a long time, that she knelt there, by the beach fire, afraid to move childishly willing, herself to wake, from the nightmarish feeling, that gripped her. He took her hand, and pulled her to her feet, and they started walking up, the beach slowly, not toward, the group of people, digging clams, but in the other direction, toward the jagged pile, of rocks, that jutted out, into the bay. She heard, a strange voice, her own voice. I thought, I thought, you wanted to talk, to me about school, but it isn't that, is it, father? His fingers tightened around hers. In a way, it is, about school, and then, before the feeling, of relief could erase, the fear he went on. I went to see Dr. Morton, last week, Minta. I've been seeing him, pretty regularly, these last few months. She flashed, a quick, frightened look up, at him, you aren't ill, no, he sighed, and it was a heartbreaking sound, no, it isn't me, it's your mother, that's why, I don't want you to go to Mary Hill this year. But, but she's feeling so much better, Dad, except, for these headaches, once in a while, she's even taking on a little weight. She broke off, and stopped walking, and, her hand, was steady, on his arm, tell me, she said quietly, the look was back, in his eyes, again. But this time, Minta, scarcely noticed it, she was aware, only of his words, the dreadful, echoing finality of his words. Her mother, was going to die, to die, her mother, to die, the doctor said, three months, perhaps less, her mother, who was gay, and scatterbrained, and more fun than anyone else, in the world. Her mother, who could be counted, on to announce, in the spring, that she was going, to do her Christmas shopping, early this year, and then left, everything, until the week, before Christmas. Please like, 
and subscribe, YouTube, channel, Sohail, Imdad, to get updates, on time. From Mother, with Love, English Book KPK Text Board, she was so pretty, and caring. She always, had time, for things like listening, to new records, and helping paste pictures in Minta's scrapbook. She wasn't ever sick except for the headaches, and the operation last year, which she had laughingly, dismissed as a rest cure. I shouldn't have told you. Her father was speaking, in a voice that Minta had never heard, from him before, a voice that held loneliness, and fear, and a sort of angry pain. I was afraid, I couldn't make, you understand. Why you had to stay home, why you'd have to forget, about Mary Hill for this year. His eyes begged, her to forgive him, and for some reason, she wanted to put her arms around him, as if she were much older, and stronger. Of course you had to tell me, she said steadily. Of course I had to know. And then, three months but dad, that's Christmas. He took her hand, and tucked it, under his arm, and they started walking again. It was like walking, through a nightmare. The steady squish squish, of the wet sand, and the little hollows, their feet made filling up, almost, as soon as, they passed. He talked quietly, explaining, telling her everything the doctor had said, and Minta listened without tears, without tears, without comment. She watched his face, as though, it were the face, of a stranger. She thought, about a thousand, unrelated things. She remembered, all the times, they had gone swimming, this past summer. Minta and her father, loved to swim, but her mother, had preferred to curl up, on a beach blanket, and watch them. You have the disposition, of a Siamese cat, Minta had accused, her mother laughingly, a cushion, by the fire, in the winter, and a cushion, in the sun, in the summer, and a bowl of cream nearby, her mother, had agreed instantly. She was always, good-natured, about their teasing. It was like coming back, from a long journey, when her father stopped, talking, and they turned back, toward the car. So that's why, I can't let you, go away, Midge. Her father's voice, was very low, and he didn't seem, to realize that, he had called her, by the babyish name, she had discarded, when she started, to first grade. It isn't just your mother, I'm thinking about, it's me. I need you. She looked at him, quickly and her heart twisted with pity, he did need her. He would need her, more than ever. In the car, she sat very close, to him. We didn't get the clams. She reminded him once, but he only nodded. Just before, they reached home, he reached over, and took her hand, in a tight hurting grip. We can't tell her, Minta. The doctor left it up to me, and I said not to tell her. We have to let her, have this last time, this last little time, without that hanging over her. We have to go on, as if everything, were exactly the same. She nodded, to show that, she understood. After a moment she spoke, past the ache in her throat, about school. I'll, I'll tell her, that I decided, to wait until next year. It seemed impossible, that life could go on exactly as before. The small private world, peopled by the three of them, was as snug, and warm, 
and happy, as though, no shadow, had touched them. They watched television, and argued good, naturedly about the programs. Minta's friends came, and went, and there was, the usual round, of parties, and dances, and games. I really must get at my Christmas shopping, she mentioned the day she was wrapping trick or treat candy for Halloween. Reading, First Year, Grade 11, English Book, KPK Textbook Board 2020. Please like and subscribe, YouTube, channel, Sohail, Indad, to get updates, on time. From Mother, with Love, English Book KPK Text Board Minta shook her head, and sighed gustily. Her mother started this. I must get at my Christmas shopping routine, every spring, and followed, it up, until after Thanksgiving, but she never actually, got around, to it until two or three days, before Christmas. It was amazing, that Minta, could laugh, and say, oh, you, the way, she did, year after year. It was a knife turning in her heart, when her mother straightened up, from the gay, cellophane wrapped candies, and brushed, a stray wisp of taffy colored hair back, from on flushed cheek. Don't laugh, she said, pretending to be stern. You know you're just exactly like me. It was warm though. She was like her mother. Inside, where it really mattered, she was like her mother. Even though, she had her father's dark eyes, and straight black hair, even though, she had his build, and the firm chin, of all the Hollies. She wanted, to put her arm, around her mother, and hug her, hard. She wanted to say, I hope I am like you. I want to be. But instead she got up, and stretched, and wrinkled her nose. Perish forbid, she said, that I should be, such a scatterbrain. She was rewarded, by the flash, of a dimple, in her mother's cheek. It seemed to Minta, as week followed week, that the day, at the beach, had been. Something out of a nightmare. Something, that she could push away, from her, and forget about. Sometimes, she looked at her father, laughing, teasing them, or howling, about the month end bills, and she thought. It didn't happen, it isn't true. And then at night, she would lie sleepless, in her room, the pretty room, that, had been, reconverted, from her nursery. She watched, the moonlike drift patterns, across the yellow bedspread, and the breeze, below the curtains, that her mother had made by hand, because, that was the only way, she could be sure of an absolute match. Yellow is such a difficult color to match, she had explained, around a mouthful of pins. And in the dark hours, of the night Minta, had known it wasn't a nightmare. It was true. It was true. One windy, November day, she hurried home, from school, and found, her mother, in the yard, raking leaves. She wore, a bright kerchief, over her head, and she, had Minta's old polo coat, belted around her. She looked young, and carefree, and her eyes, were shining. Hi, she waved, the rake invitingly. Change your clothes, and come help. We'll have, 
a smudge party, in the alley. Minta stopped, and leaned, on the gate. She saw, with a new awareness, that there were dark circles, under her mother's eyes, and that the flags of color, in her cheeks, were too bright. But she managed, a chuckle. I wish you could see, yourself, Mom. Reading, first year, grade 11, English book, KPK Textbook Board 2020. Please like and subscribe YouTube channel Sohail in Dad to get updates on time. From Mother with Love English Book KPK Text Board. For two cents, I'd get my camera, and take a picture of you. She ran, into the house, and got her camera, and they took a whole roll of pictures. Good, her mother said complacently. Now we can show them, to your father the next time he accuses me of being a Sally sit by the fire. They piled the leaves into a huge damp stack, with the help of half a dozen neighborhood children. It wouldn't burn, properly, but gave out with clouds of thick, black, wonderfully pungent smoke. Her mother was tired, that night. She lay, on the Davenport, and made out, her, Christmas card list, while Minta, and her father, watched, the wrestling matches. It was like a thousand, other such evenings, but in some unaccountable way, it was different. Because it's the last time, Minta told herself. The last time, we'll ever rake, the leaves, and make a bonfire in the alley. The last time, I'll snap a picture of her with her arms around the Kelly kids. The last time, the last time. She got up quickly, and went out into the kitchen, and made popcorn, in the electric popper. Bringing, a bowl, to her mother first, remembering, just the way she liked it, salt, and not too much butter. But that night, she wakened, in the chilly darkness, of her room and began to cry, softly, her head buried, in the curve of her arm. At first it helped, loosening the tight bands, about her heart, washing away, the fear, and the loneliness, but when, she tried to stop, she found, that she couldn't. Great racking sobs, shook her until she could no longer smother them against her pillow. And then, the light was on, and her mother, was there, bending over her, her face concerned, her voice soothing. Darling, what is it? Wake up, baby, you're having a bad dream. No no, it isn't a dream, Minta choked. It's true it's true. The thin hand, kept smoothing, back her tumbled hair, and her mother went on talking, in the tone, she had always, used to comfort, a much smaller, Minta. She was aware, that her father, had come to the doorway. He said nothing, just stood there, watching them. While Minta's, Sobs diminished, 
into hiccupy sighs. Her mother pulled, the blanket up, over Minta's shoulder, and gave her a little spank. The idea. Golly wogs, at your age, she said reprovingly. Want me to leave, the light on, in case your spook comes back. Minta, shook her head, blinking against, the tears, that crowded, against her eyelids, even managing, a wobbly smile. She never cried again. Not even when the ambulance, came a week later, to take her mother, to the hospital. Not even, when she was standing, beside her mother's high white hospital. Bed, holding her hand tightly, forcing herself, to chatter, about inconsequential things. Be sure, that your father, takes his vitamin pills, won't you, Minta? He's so careless, unless I'm there, to keep, an eye on him. I'll watch him, like a beagle. Minta promised lightly. Now you behave yourself, and get out of here, in a hurry, you hear. Not even at the funeral. Reading, First Year, Grade 11, English Book, KPK Textbook Board 2020 Please like, and subscribe, YouTube, channel, Sohail, Indad, to get updates, on time. From Mother, with Love, English Book KPK Text Board The friends and relatives, came and went, and it was as if she stood, on the sidelines watching. The Minta, who talked with them, and answered their questions as if her heart were encased, in a shell, that kept it from breaking. She went to school, and came home afterwards, to the empty house. She tried, to do the things, her mother had done, but even, with the help of well-meaning friends, and neighbors, it was hard. She tried not to hate, the people, who urged her to cry. You'll feel better, dear, her Aunt Grace, had insisted, and then had lifted, her handkerchief to her eyes and walked away. When Minta had only stared, at her with chilling indifference, she overheard people, talking about her mother. She never knew, did she they asked. And always, Minta's father answered, no, she never knew. Even at the very last, when she was, waiting for the ambulance, to come, she looked around, the bedroom, and said, I must get these curtains, done up before Christmas. Minta knew, that her father was worried, about her, and she was sorry. But, it was, as if there were, a wall between them, a wall, that she was too tired, to surmount. One night, he came to the door, of her room, where she was studying. I wonder if you'd like to, go through those, clothes, before your Aunt Grace takes them to the church bazaar, he began haltingly. And then, when she looked up, at him, not understanding, he went on gently, your mother's clothes. We thought, 
someone might, as well get some good, out of them. She stood up, and closed the book, and went past him, without another word, but she closed, the door behind her, when she went into, her mother's room. There were some suit boxes, by the closet door, and Minta, vaguely remembered, that the women, from the bazaar committee, had called several times. Her hands felt, slightly unsteady, as she pulled, open the top dresser drawer, and looked down, at the stacks, of clean handkerchiefs, the stockings, in their quilted, satin case, the gloves, folded, into tissue wrappings. I can't do it, she told herself, but she got, a box, and started putting, the things into it. Trying not to look at them, trying to forget, how delighted, her mother, had been with the pale green slip, trying not to remember. Once she hesitated, and almost lifted, a soft wool sweater, from the pile, that was growing, in the suit box. She had borrowed it, so often, that her mother, used to complain, that she felt like a criminal, every time, she borrowed it back again. She didn't mean it, though she loved, having Minta borrow her things. Reading, First Year, Grade 11, English Book, KPK Textbook Board 2020 Please like, and subscribe, YouTube, channel, Sohail, Indad, to get updates, on time. From Mother, with Love, English Book KPK Text Board Minta, put the sweater, with the other things, and closed the box firmly. Now. The things in the closet. Opening the door, was almost like feeling, her mother, in the room, beside her. A faint perfume, clung to most, of her garments. The house coat the woolly. Robe the tan polo coat the scarlet jacket her new blue wool with the peg top skirt. Minta started folding, the things with almost frantic haste, stuffing them, into boxes. Cramming the lids on, and then starting, on another box. At the very back, of the closet, were the two pieces of matched luggage, that had been her mother's last birthday gift, from her father. They were heavy, when she tried, to move them, too heavy. She brought them out, into the room, and put them, side by side, on her mother's bed. Her breath caught, in her throat, when she opened them. Dozens and dozens of boxes, all tied with bright red ribbon, the gift tags, written out, in her mother's careful script. Gaily colored, Christmas stickers, sprigs of holly, to Minta from mother and dad. To Grace from Marty. To John from Mary. To the Kelly Gremlins from Aunt Mary. To Uncle Art from the Holly family. So you knew. Minta whispered, the words. You knew all the time. She looked down, 
in surprise as a hot tear dropped, on her hand and she dashed it away, almost impatiently. She picked up, another package, and read the tag. To Minta from Mother with Love. Without opening it, she knew that, it was a picture frame, and she remembered, the way, she had teased, her mother, to have a good photograph taken. The only one, I have of you, looks like a fugitive, from a chain gang, she had pointed out. I can't very well, go away to school, next year with that. She put the package back, in the suitcase, with all the others, and carried the cases back, into the closet. Poor Dad, she thought. She never knew, she could hear him saying. Not even at the last. Minta opened the box beside the bed and took out the sweater and the pale green slip. You know perfectly well that you're just exactly like me. She remembered her mother saying. She brushed, the tears away, and went down, the stairs, and out into the cheerless living room. I do like to keep these things, Dad, she said in her most matter-of-fact voice, and she showed him, the sweater and slip. The slip is a little big, but I'll grow into it. It it looks like her, I think. Reading, first year, grade 11, English book, KPK textbook board 2020. Please like and subscribe, YouTube, channel, Sohail, Indad, to get updates, on time. From Mother, with Love, English Book KPK Text Board She went around the room, snapping on the lamps, turning on the television that had been silent for so long. She was aware, that his eyes, followed her that he could hardly avoid, noticing the tear stains, on her cheeks. I think I'll have, an apple, she said. Want one? He nodded. Sure. Bring me one, as long as you're, making the trip. It was natural. It was almost like old time, except that the blue chair, by the fireplace was vacant. She went out into the kitchen hurriedly. I'll tell him, that I pestered mother, to do her shopping early this year. She told herself, as she got the apples from the refrigerator. I'll tell him that it was my idea about the photographs. She wanted him, to believe that she didn't know. The vitamin pills were pushed back on a shelf. She took them, out of the refrigerator, and put them on the windowsill, where she would be sure, to see them in the morning. When she came back, into the living room, she noticed, that a light in a Christmas wreath, was winking on and off in the Kelly's window, across the street. I guess we should, start thinking, about Christmas, Dad. She tossed him, an apple as she spoke, and he caught it deftly. She hesitated, for just a moment, and then walked over, and sat down, 
in the blue chair by the fire, as if she belonged there, and looked, across at her father, and smiled. Unit number 4, reading completed. Questions and answers. Please like and subscribe YouTube channel Sohail in Dad to get updates on time. From Mother with Love English Book KPK Text Board. Reading comprehension, answer the following questions. Question number one. How is the theme, of From Mother with Love, a universal theme, present in literature, across all culture? Answer. As the love of mother, is universal irrespective of culture, and nationality. Every mother, whether human, or of any other creature, has limitless love for children. Being caring, and responsible, is the integral trait, of mothers, which makes the theme of From Mother with Love a universal theme. Question number two, comment, on the plot, of the story From Mother with Love. Answer. The plot of the story, though is simple, but structured very carefully, to keep the suspense, till the story ends. The story is emotional, where caring and loving nature of mother, for the children is foreshadowed. Question number three identify, the narrator, or speaker, of the story from mother with love. Answer. The story is narrated, from third person, author, point of view. The speaker, does not belong, to the story, he comments, on the events from the outside. Question number four, analyze, and comment, on the character, of Minta. Answer. Minta, is a very strong, obedient, and composed girl. She obeys, what her father, told her. Minta is a very tolerant girl. She keeps the secret, of her mother illness, and doesn't let, any sorrowful expressions on her, face for family's sake. She sacrifices her wishes, for the sake of her parents, by not going to school this year. She is very responsible, like her mother, who does not forget, reminding her father to take his medicine regularly. Question number five. What is the conflict, in the story? How is it resolved? Answer. Conflicts in the story. First conflict, is Minta's going, to Mary Hill School this year or not, it was resolved, when her father told her, about his mother illness. Second conflict, is when Minta's mother, looks in perfectly good condition, except for the slight headache, is seriously ill and has only a few months to live. The conflict, is resolved, when Minta comes to know, about it from her father. The third conflict, of the story is that Minta, thinks her mother does not know about her illness, while she knew everything, but does not express it. Minta learns about it after reading the tags and sticker on the gifts, she discovers in her mother's boxes. Question number six Where does, Minta's father, 
take her, to discuss, her mother illness. Answer. Minta, did not know, about her mother illness, as her mother, looked in good condition, and only had slight headache problem. However, her father took, Minta to the beach, where she comes to know, about her mother illness, that she has only a few months to live. Question number 7. Which approach, would you have preferred, deception, or honesty? If you had to deal, with similar circumstances, like Minta's mother. Give reasons, for your choice. Answer. Telling lie, in a way that makes people happy, is better than telling truth, that makes them sad, in such circumstances. I think deceptive approach, best suits situation, like this. I will try not to tell the truth, which makes my family unhappy. I will try to bring as many smiles, as I can, to make the last few months memorable, for the person who is going to die, in the coming few months. So, if I had to deal, with such circumstance, I would have preferred, deception too. Question number 8 How do, the vitamin pills, become, the symbol of responsibility? Answer. Minta's mother, used to look after, the medication of Minta's father. While she was dying, she handed the responsibility, of looking after the medicines, over to her. It also throws, light on the responsible nature, of women who keeps a close check on family's well-being. Question number 9. How has Minta changed? Over the course of the story. Limit you answer to just five sentences. Answer. Minta, though, is young child, who should be in school, is handed over, the responsibility of looking, after family, because of her mother's illness. Minta when goes out, with father, expects her father to talk about admission, comes across the sad new, of her mother illness, and a year delay, in her school admission. Minta though is dejected, at her mother's diminishing health, presumes to know nothing and pretends, to be a happy girl, in front of her mother. She also takes the responsibility, of looking after her father's vitamin pills. Question number 10. Why, is the blue chair significant? Explain. Answer. The blue chair, is significant in the sense, that motherly affections, are attached with it. It shows the responsible nature, of a mother, who is not worried, about her own health, but cares, for her husband's vitamin pills. It is the symbol of all those, that sacrifices a mother goes, through for the sake of family. Minta's mother, knew everything, about her illness, but presumes, to be unaware of her illness. Question number 11. Explain, how Minta knows, that her mother, accepted death. Why is that knowledge, comforting to her? Answer. When Minta, saw the dozens of boxes, all tied with bright ribbon, the gift tags, written out, in her mother, careful script. The sticker springs, of Holly to Minta from mother, and dad, 
to Grace from Mary to John from Mary, to Kelly Grenlins from Aunt Maury and to Minta from Mother. With love. From seeing all this, Minta came to know, that her mother accepted death. Tuition Wali Baji, SNC, based on Single National Curriculum, 2020. End of this video. Please like and subscribe to get upcoming video. Visit our channel Tuition Wali Baji on www.youtube. Sahailam.